Hey, hey friends, welcome, it's MJ Gordon. Today I wanna to show you a real live example of how to find your purpose when identifying the things that add value and fulfill you in your life. If you like these videos, make sure you click like button so that I know, subscribe and share for more. So last week we talked about how to find your purpose by simply identifying the elements that create fulfillment and joy in your life. This practice can be applied to any area, not necessarily just the grand scheme question of what is my whole purpose in life, but it could also be scaled down to something as simple like what is my purpose when it comes to my wardrobe or the things that I buy to fill my home with. It occurred to me after the last episode that I should clarify these principles that we discussed about simplification, minimalism, or creating an everyday vacation is all encompassing, meaning even though we were applying it to the idea of finding the grand purpose of life, you can apply apply it to finding little purposes throughout life. And I just so happened to have a little challenge that I was brought up with that I thought I would apply it to. I haven't done this exercise yet, but basically what happened this month is we went on vacation for about five or six days to a lake house in Seattle to spend time with my family. And every time we do this, I feel so excited to live minimally, live out of a bag, and just really focus on the present moment, really living that vacation flow, that vacation mindset, and that vacation life, and just taking a break from all of the routine responsibilities. So one of the things that I came home with when I got back from that trip was the motivation to reduce the amount of clothing that I own. I currently own a lot of clothing mainly because I tend to purchase clothing for work projects. Companies tend to send me clothing because I'm doing work for them and their brand. And I don't like the idea of wasting, so I try to put good use to them and appreciate them. But every time I get back from a trip, I realized that I can deal with five or six pairs of clothes in a week, even with a especially diverse schedule, and then I come home and think that I could pare down. So I'm gonna be using this exercise to help me really identify what my purpose is for my wardrobe and to really see if this is the way it should be or if I can reduce some of the overwhelm <laughs> that I have when it comes to my wardrobe. So going off of our last video, we're going to take the time to identify my purpose in my everyday vacation, meaning in my life of flow, presence, and really just living it up, which is what I try to do every day. And we're gonna take that up here to this whiteboard. Step one, identify. We're gonna start first with my purpose of what serves those everyday vacation elements. So one thing that I know for sure is I am extremely active and I have a diverse schedule, meaning that every single day I'm moving around, I'm doing things from filming, being in front of the camera, doing yoga and fitness videos, working out, being outside, sometimes riding my bike to get to a scene out in nature, carrying all this equipment. And so I have a lot of activity and diversity every single day. Number two, it's hot here. It's hot here and we have cool winters. And by cool, I mean like 70 degrees. Um, but I also travel. I do tend to travel to places like when we were in Seattle, it was much cooler. The high was like mid 70s and it was a lot cooler. So even though it's super hot here, I do want to think about what type of clothes allow me to travel and still have the flexibility of all the elements that I need to live my everyday vacation, to live my life freely and comfortably. I do run a business and I am social. <laughs> so for me, that leads to certain elements that are important. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and boil these things down to actual elements that are related to clothes. So if I'm active and I have a diverse schedule, what that leads down to is comfort. 
it's really important for me to feel comfortable in my clothes doing what I'm doing because if I'm not comfortable, then it takes away from my presence and from my energy and from just my um, experience. You have to bear with me. This is uh, two, I'm just doing this for the first time. So I thought it would be a good thing to do. And so you can watch me real time how I go through this process because I still have similar questions that you do. It's not like you get there once and necessarily don't revisit or take inventory again because life changes and we evolve. So hot and cool, I guess uh, like it's weather, it's diverse for weather. Oh, weather, flexible. <laughs> um, and then I travel. So I guess that's the same thing. We can just uh, comfort and weather flexible. And number four, for business and social, it means that aesthetics matter to me. And what that means when I say it matters to me, it's, it's not that I'm looking to aesthetically fit today's trend or to try to see how people judge me based on what I wear. It's, it really means that I just want to look clean and put together or well put, I guess I'll I'll say, um, and that is by definition what I see in the mirror. If I see the, my reflection and say, oh, that looks nice and clean and well put, that's what's important to me because I do interact with people and I am in front of the camera a lot and I don't want my clothes to be bold or distracting or grungy. We still live in a place where we judge each other the first 15 seconds. And so when it comes to business and social, I want to make sure that whatever I'm wearing doesn't distract people from me being able to show up as my true self because they're judging me on what I'm wearing. So clean and well put and for myself only, that means I don't really like anything that is printed or bold. Another thing that I'm thinking of that's important to me that is kind of irrelevant, but you know, my everyday vacation, I guess life looks kind of simple or just focused on the things that add value to me. So the reason I'm going through this process anyways is because my dresser drawers feel full. I have two really full dresser drawers to the brim and I have some stuff hanging and it just feels overwhelming for me. So with simplicity in mind, I think it's important for me to have, um, I guess I'll just call it compatible clothing. Um, and what I mean by that is for myself, I would like to open my dresser drawer with my eyes shut and pull out a top and pull out a bottom and just have them have all these things, be aesthetically pleasing, flexible for my day and comfortable. And that is super important to me because I don't personally care for unique pieces that are not compatible with the rest of my wardrobe. So I guess we'll keep these things in mind and take it to my clothes and see, <laughs> see how I go through this together. Okay, so let's start with the items over here. These are the items that I picked in my first batch just based on the fact that there are the most used items. They're the things that I wear all the time. These items on this side, however, are the ones that I kind of put away or off to the side. And I don't know if you can tell from there, but these are actually some of my nicer items. And so the conflict that I was having with myself was keeping my comfortable items, but also keeping nicer items. And what you'll notice about some of these items, like my aloe yoga pants here, is they're really cute and I love them, but they don't really match with everything I have in my closet per se. This is the reason that I have a tough time um, letting go of some of these items because I do enjoy wearing these once in a while. I just don't get to wear them as often as I would like for that reason. These are kind of like my best tops, but I also wear these kind of more comfortable cheap tank tops. These are from Target. I wear these a lot for work and I wear them just for comfort. I can't tell, what do you guys think? Does it look too ratty? That's the thing is I also get really attached to my clothes that I've had for a long time because I don't like wasting and I like things that last. But at the same time, I, I think that a lot of times I can't tell whether or not it looks ratty. I don't know how else to say that. I love the idea of these. You guys have seen me wear these in photos. They are flipping gorgeous, but in everyday life, this stands out like a sore thumb. 
and obviously it's pure crisp white so like they get dirty easily and they don't necessarily match everything unless I have another purely crisp white sports bra or something. So this is actually not the most practical thing as much as I love that. Oh, this is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and go through these items on my own. I'm not gonna go through every single one with you, but I have my whiteboard right there and I can see that I want it to be comfortable. I want it to be flexible and aesthetically clean and put together and as well as compatible with one another. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I have piled all these clothes up. These are gonna be my to-go piles. I went from just about 60 items to under 40. So I have a total of 38. I had over 60 items. So this feels really good to be letting go of a third of what I have. My drawers feel nice and clean and spacious, not like they're stuffed to the brim. I did decide to try to go with the white pants because I looked up some outfits on Pinterest and that's kind of what I do is sometimes I'll look at outfits on Pinterest to see if they go well together aesthetically and if I can match them with things that are comfortable and that flow with my day. And so I'm gonna give it a try, especially over this winter coming up and just see how it goes from there. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me here and doing this with me. This is something I've been wanting to do and it's something that's been getting to me. So to be able to exercise the practice of discovering purpose through identifying your everyday vacation elements obviously really helps. And now I feel really good about letting this go because staring at it and being like, ooh, do I wanna keep this, do I not? Like one item at a time was really tough to do. So this feels really good and I'm gonna be happy to whoever I can share this with and pass it along. So thanks again for joining me here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know by hitting thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get alerted for the next episode and I will see you guys back here again next time. Ciao for now.